Well, Arsenal don't have that much time to enjoy their emphatic victory over Manchester United at the weekend. Stevie and I covered that game. And now here we are covering the UEFA Europa League because Arsenal have it all to do against Wren, trying to mm. overturn a 3-1 loss in the first leg just last week, Stevie. But they are back at home at the Emirates now where mm. they've enjoyed five back-to-back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back wins. Right. So can they do it, Stevie? Uh, yes, they can. I think the, the away goal was huge. Um, unfortunately, I didn't expect them to lose three. Yeah. Uh, and actually, I was surprised how good Wren were going forward. Um, I mean, Wren, since, since they came back from their break, 15 games, they've only lost twice, and one of those was away at PSG. So this is, a, this is a team that's in form. It's a team that pretty much knows how to win and not get beat. Uh, and so Arsenal better be very careful. Um, Wren scored three away at Betis in the last round. So Arsenal have to be real, real tight at the back. And I'm not so sure that that's one Their of Arsenal's strength strengths right now. So just apart from just the defence or including picking out or analysing the defence, from the last game, what did you see that Arsenal definitely need to improve on this week? Uh, well, I think they underestimated Wren, to be quite honest, which means that defenders became slack, weren't quite on their toes. I think you'll find that, that you'll see an Arsenal side that's Absolutely ready to go. Unai Emery's got a fantastic uh, CV in this competition uh, when he was at Sevilla. Yeah. So you know he's going to have everybody ready and fired up for this game. So I think, I think you won't see the slackness in the back line that you did away at Red. Could we see a lot of goals then that we're seeing Alexandre Lacazette I think we will. should be back? Well, Arsenal have to score three goals. Yeah. Um, and so that means that they're going to have to be open. Uh, Ren have been good since the turn of the year going forward. So it, it, it looks on paper as though it could be an open, all-out attacking game, which for the neutral like us, fantastic. Let's talk about Arsenal um, in terms of the Premier League now, because we mm. know the UEFA Europa League, of course, they can get into the Champions League through this way. So should they just mm. go all out in this competition? Or if they lose to Ren tomorrow, would it be a slight blessing in disguise for them? That way they just concentrate straight on the top four race considering it's quite tight right now. Listen, if you're Arsenal right now, you, you want to win every game you play in, whether it's Premier League or Europa League. Uh, yes, if they go out to the Europa League, they're, they're going to have... They're going to be rested more than they would. That's, that's the key. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm not so sure that Arsenal get in the top four anyway. What? Well, I, we've just spoken about this game and we've just said where the problems are in, in the back. And, and at any stage and in any game, I'm not comfortable with their back line. I think they can lose goals and give goals up. And they've still got, what, 10, 10 games in the Premier League. So I'm not so sure Arsenal, whether in the Europa League or not, get in the top four. So they better try and put a little bit more effort in the Europa League for me. Wow, Stevie. What? I think a lot of Manchester United fans will be very happy to hear you say that. All right, so give me a prediction for this match. Good, well, I did. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you did. I did. Give me a prediction for this one. Uh, I'm going to say Ren go through. Uh, yes, plenty of goals, but just a little step too far for Arsenal, I think. Oh, Paul Mariner will be so sad to hear you say that. Unlucky, Paul. But Ren have been scoring very freely. Two goals, I believe, in their last four games each. So, free-flowing game, plenty yep, goals. Plenty but goals. at the end, Stevie doesn't believe that Arsenal have what it takes to pull this one off. Too much to come back.